Uh, this is the bear pit with a disappointing lack of bears. Alright, so we've got an attic bar. In the background we've got like some, I don't know, older, looks like some 60s buildings. Big square boxes. In the little beer garden we've got a nice little sculpture, mushroomy sort of thing. Intergalactic pub. Uh, but behind that I reckon that's an older church. I don't know, let's say 1700s or something? No, it'll be earlier, it'll be like 1600s. Not a lot left over from the 17, 18 sort of hundreds in the city. Uh, we've also got Welcome to Stokes Croft, the cultural quarter. Uh, so yeah, let's go, let's check it out. Let's check out this new road layout. Oh man, I do need a uh, phone repair, but I don't know if I need a Clash of Clans. Very clever. Alright, so we have... That one's really good, but the one that I really like... Check out that angel. That is really clever. Top marks. Alright, so I've got Bristol Rise Up on one side and then you've got one of the Banksies, the Mild Mild West over there and then we've got another uh, cool coral building just down there Decided to go up here on a hunt that is a really nice unicorn. I like how the Jamaican place is just cooking something just outside. You know, just as you do. Also, octopus. Are you telepathic? This is the Westbury on Trim. Kind of like the town centre, they got the men's pub there. Um, I quite like it actually, it's a clever sort of town square. Adapted obviously for traffic, but um, it's quite picturesque. I just love that there's a place called Shire Hampton. Um, also, there's a Cribs, Cribs Passages as well. Wow, nice flowers here in Westbury. Also, 1111 Superstore. You could say it's like one and a third times better than a 7-Eleven extra super. I feel like only in England can you be mere meters away from a golf course inside woodland with random ruined buildings. Like or some kind of ruined wall. Like, yeah, okay. Uh, steep descent down gorge. Not really what I had in mind. Oh, there's like a proper footpath there, okay. 
Oh uh, yeah, middle of nowhere, a remote wilderness. Yes, very, very remote wilderness. Uh, somehow someone lives here. Um, I mean, I don't really know where I am, but all of these things sound cool. Also, this is an old mill. Uh, across the, I guess the creek. It's a little wider on this side. Um, actual intact water wheel. So that's really cool. Very nice. Well, I guess since the museum's literally right there, I may as well go see the museum, right? Ooh, future Ryan. Museum not open. Oh, through, through the trees on this expedition to locate the castle of Bla of blaze butter uh, apparently this is a grade 2 listed monument so i don't know the answer but it seems... Oh, firstly, castle built like 1760s. Um, it's in the middle of woodland. So maybe the trees weren't here. Um, at the time of its building. Um, because you can't see it. You, you actually can't see it until you get like within 20 meters. It's very hidden. And I don't know why, because like most follies, they're there for like, add to the scenery, but I, I, I don't get this one, because you can't see it from any direction. It's surrounded by trees. Anyway, I'm going to go look at a view of, not the castle. Uh, before I go look at the view, they really did restore it. Like, it's really well made for a folly. Uh, that sign there denotes the Iron Age hill fort that I'm standing upon and you have no idea because all the trees are in the way. Uh, but this is basically an enclosed, enclosed uh, defensive space to be defended. Just down there is the gorge I've been in, seeing a lot today. Uh, this is meant to be a river, but it's more like a creek. But it's going to join up with the Avon soon enough, so... You can hear the cars already. Just something about the soft light that comes through. You can only get when you walk through a tree sort of canopy like this. Welcome to the creek, Bristol Manor Farm Football Club for us. Uh, why do they have a thing? Latin thing. Um, unfortunately, I will not be here. I might even be out of the country by then. But let's go. I want to check out, check this out. All right, so it's private property, so I can't really go in. I think that must be their stadium. It's not quite the uh, Slovak 3rd Division, but it'll do. There's a railway track in the background. Training facilities look fancier than the stadium, somehow. Alright, that's the creek we've been following back. It's connecting with the Avon right there. There's the railway, railway track. And there's Bristol Manor Farm of Sea. This is going to be way too windy. Oh, mate, you mean I can watch the big game, Bristol Manor Farm of Sea? from across the creek that I've been following from close to the railway. I'm assuming that was the original railway bridge because that's the new one because we've got a cute little railway station here. 
but I may as well go inside. Uh, for such a random place, that's quite regular train times. Quite a small station. Three carriages. Uh, pretty close to the Bristol Manor FC home ground, so maybe that's why they have the Latin uh, Latin motto in their side. Uh, the River Avon from close to the base. Also, oh, it's kind of funny how, like, I mean, that's the stadium, the Bristol Manor FC stadium. <laughs> and yeah, it's so like, quiet here. I wouldn't have expected it. I was expecting it to be more noisy. I just find it interesting how like wide and baked the mud is, especially because it hasn't really been raining much lately. But it still looks really wet. Even with the river being so low. Um, seawall one, seawall two. We're walking in the cliffs now. I mean, fair enough, you gotta climb somewhere. Um, there's also some over there as well. Uh, this might be, this vaguely reminds me of one of the uh, indigenous species of the uh, Bristol River Avon Gorge. I was expecting most of the survivors to be up on this uh, rock face somewhere uh, but there's also no way for me to tell from this kind of angle and distance and I am not a rock climber Face falling! <laughs> we are coming up on the bridge over the River Avon Why is the water so brown? Well... Probably that. I like how there's two houses, two houses just peeking through there. I have a view! Um, this light detects that it's dark because it's surrounded by the tree. So it's always on. Even on a cliff's crevasses, the trees will always win. The Clifton Suspension Bridge and all the traffic it avoids for one pound. Get across. Uh, so obviously I was on the left uh, yesterday and also on the right actually on the same day. And the river is just down there. Quick while the wind is kind of down. Oh yes, mankind over nature. Oh, sorry, like a 1950s tourism ad might say. I kind of like how from this angle it just juts out. It's like bam, bridge, all of a sudden. This is very ornate for something that only lasted about 40 years. Also a tunnel. And I have no idea what this is for, but it's here. All right, we are a bit further down and it's looking like a something, 14. Uh, 14 is the radio channel. I like this view. I'm assuming they were the workers' houses on the right for the bridge. And we've got like the little, I guess it was a dock for like transporting all the goods and stuff as well. Probably only temporary, I don't know. Very interesting little area to be though. Also, who lives up there? Why is that house there? Why is the water so high? Uh, in the city centre. Yeah. 
what is the building? What is the building? What kind of building is this? It's a church. I thought there was an outside chance it was a town hall, but it is a church. Um, if you're walking around Bristol, you might miss this one because it's a way, because most people probably do the harbour side walk. Uh, but if you take sort of the main road, you can see this, and that's really, that's another really good one. I like how 3D it is. It's very clever. Well, I guess we need to blame Gloria for... Well, I mean, not really, but um, kind of weird that you can see through the building. It's just a facade at this point. <laughs> um... Really nice architecture though.